WTFNN. Headline News Update. Brian, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in Clearwater, Florida. It's 9 a.m. on the East Coast, 30 minutes until that opening bell. Let's see what we have happening in the markets as it looks like the open will be higher this morning. NASDAQ futures currently up 15 points, trading at 59.08. Dow futures up 27 points, trading at 22,286, and S&P points, S&P futures up five points, right at that 2,500 mark. Jumping around as well, let's jump over to the Nadex platform. We have some volatility in some of the commodities, that's for sure. So here's our S&P 500, right at that 2,500 price point as we await the opening bell. NASDAQ 100 trading at 5,910. Crude oil, 51.93. We had API numbers last night. You saw a, um, let's see, American Petroleum Institute reported Tuesday, crude supplies unexpectedly fell by 761,000 barrels. So that was API after the close last night. And of course, we have EIA inventories at 10.30 a.m. Eastern time this morning. We'll be live on the air for those. Silver pulling back this morning, 1678 and gold. Check that out, 1287. We'll pull it back even a little bit further to see that decline. Gold down about $15 from yesterday and continuing to struggle as, of course, commodities. You had Janet Yellen speaking yesterday, um, talking about the probability of a hike going up in December. So that's all weighing on the market for sure. Other news we have in terms of movers, you had Nike coming out with their earnings after the bell last night. They are, the market is not liking what they saw. So Nike reported quarterly profit of 57 cents per share compared to consensus estimates of 48 cents. The athletic footwear and apparel mark, um, maker's revenue was essentially in line, but it did post its slowest quarterly sales growth in almost seven years. So not liking what's going on there for supply and demand. Looks like Nike will open lower, currently 51.90. And Micron Technology on the reverse side of that doing well for itself. Currently trading at 36.04, closed yesterday at 35.18. And Micron beat estimates by 19 cents with adjusted quarterly, quarterly profit of $2.02 per a share. Other news kind of making its way around the web. You had Twitter talking about last night that they might expand their character limit from 140 to 280 characters. It looks like Twitter getting a little bit of a bump on that news. 1685 closed yesterday at 1659. Stay tuned, folks. Larry Pesavento coming up right now with Trade What You See. We'll be back here live at 10 o'clock with those EIA numbers. Great day programming at TFNN. Stay tuned. We'll talk to you next hour.